a lady of letters, a young writer who pioneered sizzle history, author of Sin in a Second City, our own Karen Abbott. Have you the faintest idea about the private life of an author? Why, publishing was once New York's most glamorous industry. Now, an author's education requires years of humiliation. And for the sake of illustration, take a look at me. I began at the age of 23. I published manuscripts in my drawer, rejection letters on my wall, popping Vicodin, Valium, Ambien, Adderall, chasing it all down with my tonic and gin. Wake up each morning with my head in a spin. Depressed, dejected, I had nowhere to go but down. But then I got a call from Random House in Midtown. Now the things that go on in an author's mind will give you no end of surprise. But if you're psychologically inclined, there's more to see than meets the eye. For example, when I lower my gown a fraction and expose a patch of shoulder, I'm not interested in your reaction or in the bareness of my shoulder. I'm thinking of the Kindle and book clubs and my Twitter avatar and how much easier it would be to write a fake memoir. Or schedules and interviews dancing through my mind. Michiko Kakatani, may I kiss your behind? And when I lower the other side and expose the other shoulder, I'm thinking of David Remnick, my launch party, talk of the town, and how I'd love to air kiss Tina Brown. Of Janet Maslin and Dwight Garner and that dashing Graydon Carter. Let me sit next to you at your monkey ball. I'm thinking of the things I really ought to do. Contact Stephen Colbert, Charlie Rose, Perez Hilton, you who And when I raise my skirts with slyness and dexterity, I'm mentally computing just how far I'll go for publicity. I'm dreaming of The Daily Show, Terry Gross, Oprah, Matt Lauer, and oddly, even the texture of Malcolm Gladwell's hair. I'm worried about my Amazon ranking, whether or not my book is tanking. Will I rise higher on the New York Times list? Will Ryan Murphy make my book an HBO hit? <laughs> oh, what I would do for a front page review. Have an egg roll, Sam Pettinger. Better yet, have two. Oh, dear. <laughs> and when I finally display my charms in all their dazzling splendor and prove to you conclusively I am of the female gender, I stand here one final moment holding this pose hoping you'll buy my American rose. And then I take the last thing off and look demurely at every fan. Do you believe for a moment that I am thinking of sex? Why, I certainly am. What the hell are we, American Rose? Why, it's being published December 28th. But I just happen to have a copy right here. Thank <laughs> you.